Hiya, I've got a question for you. Do you make the time to think? Now, before you answer, take a second to actually think about it, okay? When was the last time you sat down just to, to think, not to meditate, not to plan your week ahead, not to, you know, meander, but to actually sit down and think about a specific topic? I mean, I know we say it a lot. Well, you know, I'll think about it. That often happens when we want to buy something and the salesperson has been a bit too persuasive and we're not quite sure. So we say, I'll think about it. And in truth, we don't. We just go, nah, don't want that. I just couldn't say no to his face or her face. So we just say, I'll think about it, which is English speak for no, thank you. Now, the weird thing is we make a huge amount of decisions in our life based on emotion and almost like instantaneous. Uh, for example, if you meet someone and you decide there and then that, yes, I like that person, no, I don't like that person, we are so much creatures of first impressions, and that can lead us down a very kind of dangerous path in the sense of that person might not be the right person for us, that might not be the right business per, uh, partner, that might not be the right life partner, but we... We make an instant snap decision without actually taking the time to think. A lot of the time, we make our decisions based on emotions. You know, I want that car. I want to pay for that course. It's a new shiny thing. I've got to have it now, now, now. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah. And we don't actually rationalize whether or not we really need that thing. We don't sit down with pad in pen in hand or just, you know, say I'm going to sit down for five minutes and actually think about this. Do I really need to invest in this course? Is this the best way forward for my business? Do I really need to do a joint venture with this person? Do I need to do this? Start with we don't take the time. And I think that is a huge mistake. I mean, I... <laughs> I have to admit that I've made this mistake more than once. When I look back on my life and some of the decisions that I've made, I realize that I've made these decisions without actually taking the time to think. And when I say that, I mean actually sitting down and kind of planning out this decision. Do I want to go down this road, this road, or this road? Do I want to make that decision or this decision? Do I want to say yes or no? And I haven't actually done that. I've just kind of gone with my gut feeling or gone with emotion. You know, a situation has made me feel happy, so I'll have more of it. And then situations made me feel sad, so I'll have less of it kind of thing. And <laughs> more than once, the decisions I've made have not been the best decision I could have taken at that time. So my suggestion is, is that we actually start to make time to look at our situation I mean, for example, how do you know if you've, say you've set goals and you've, you've got plans and you've got daily tasks and whatever, how do you know if the goals are right for you over time? So say you made some goals and plans at the start of the year. Obviously, the situation has changed enormously in, you know, nine months. Are those goals still right for you? Have you actually taken the time to sit down and think, hmm, I don't really want that goal anymore. I don't think it's me. I don't think it's appropriate. I don't think it suits me. Now, my guess would be that we don't do that. We, we just kind of carry on regardless. We just blunder on with the weekly plans, with the monthly plans, because we've made the goal and, and that's it. And that's not the best way. We need to have time to review our situation and to look forward to things. I, mean, I know a lot of you will take Sunday afternoon or Friday night to plan the week ahead. And you say, well, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I've got to do the other. I've got to talk to this person. I'm going to make that call, which is great. And I've actually started doing now, that now, and it's really beneficial. But it's not the same as thinking. It's not the same as taking the time out and looking at the situation and saying, is this the way I want to proceed? Is this the way forward for me? Is this the best avenue for my skills, my talents, my experience? And I would suggest that most of us don't do that. And I would further suggest that it's about time we did, that we actually got our calendar.
and does our diaries and blocked out some time to actually sit and reflect about where we are and where we want to be. But probably more important than that is that if you've got a big decision to make, for example, whether you're going to invest a couple of thousand pounds in a course, take on a mentor or a, a coaching program or learn a new skill, I would strongly suggest that you actually sit down with yourself and set aside 15, 20 minutes, half an hour to actually look at that decision and say to yourself, is that £2,000 being invested wisely on this particular thing? And talk to yourself about this, because a lot of the time we see the, the shiny objects and we go, oh, I want that, I want that, that will really help me. But we don't actually say to ourselves, will it really help me? Will I learn from it? Will it be beneficial? And that's where a lot of us slip up. We, we go, oh, God, I've just spent two grand on that thing, and it, it really wasn't for me. I've just, you know, I've not used it. I've done a bit of the work. It really wasn't where I wanted to be. I think a lot of the times we're kind of afraid to ask the question. We see the shiny object. We know we need to learn something along those lines, but we don't delve deeper. Is this particular person, this particular course, going to fit? with the way I work, with the way I see things, the way I do things? Or would I better off wait, be better off waiting until I find the right fit for me? And judging from what a lot of people that sell courses say to me, about 90% of people don't actually carry on through with the, um, the, the course they've paid for. In fact, I, I heard a statistic a couple of years ago that are something like about 95% of people that buy a book from Amazon don't actually open it. They see a recommendation or a friend says, yeah, get that book, it's brilliant. And they order it and it arrives, they take it out of the, the packaging and they stick it on a shelf and it never gets read. What a waste. I mean, that's great for Amazon, fabulous, yeah, and for the author, but for the person who's invested 10, 15, 20 quid on that book, it's a waste of money. And if you add that amount of money up over time, it probably amounts to hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. So what I'm suggesting is make the time to think about a decision before you make the decision, whether that's about buying your next book, buying a car, buying a course, asking someone out on a date, doing a joint venture with someone, expanding your business, taking on an employee. Make the time to sit down and think and ask yourself a series of questions. You know, is this right for me? Is it the right time? Can I, do I really have the financing for it? And so on. You can make your own list of questions, but sit down and take the time to think. Make the time to think because you know as well as I do that you've made bad decisions because emotionally you just leapt in there <laughs> and said, right, okay, yes, I'm going to go for this. And on reflection, it wasn't a wise decision. So my suggestion to you is start making time to think. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye now.